Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Storm season is coming, people, and your first choice for roofing needs should be Rhino Roofing. Locally owned and operated, the Rhino specializes in all types of repair and replacement. Large scale, traditional, modern, unique roof lines, they can do it all. Protect your home and your family with the specialized services of Rhino Roofing. Visit our Facebook page today and make an appointment. Rhino Roofing is all the hype for any roof type. Hey. Welcome back to Cash and Wildcat TV here in Cash in Oklahoma, where we've got a good one for you tonight. Number six, Hennessy Eagles, 10 and 2 on the season. Coach Barton bringing his boys into town to take on the number four ranked Cash and Wildcats. It's a uh, it's a rematch from an earlier game this season, which was an awesome game uh, at the Three Rivers uh, tournament out in Fairview, and uh, we've got a good one, but. Uh, I uh, want to make sure and welcome you. I'm even a Bobby joining me up here in the booth doing my play-by-play. -play. Best play-by-play -play guy in the world. Football, basketball, baseball, softball. I'm uh, sorry, color commentary. I apologize. No, you had it right. Uh, best play-by-play -play no, no, guy. No, you had it right. No. If you read the message boards, I drive everyone crazy. Hey, they only hate you because they can't because, be you, Because they Nima. hate me. They hate, they hate me because they hate me. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Chris. You're my personal therapist as well. So I uh, appreciate Chris joining me up here, Chris. Mr. Brett Shaddix with the... Uh, Blue Ribbon Homes right here. Yeah, how are you, sir? Appreciate you guys joining us. Uh, we <laughs> want to give a big thanks out to our man Tommy Brands yep. working production. We've got uh, the Stimke brothers, Zane right. and, and, and uh, Braden working the cameras, and we're so yeah, glad to have you. Brett Shaddix with Blue Ribbon Homes. They, they're Is one of our, right? our, yep, Very our, good. Our, our sponsors. Very good. One of our great sponsors yep. at 
Blue Ribbon. We Construction, love those guys. Yep. And hey, big shout out. We just saw a commercial there from Rhino Roofing. Our man Randy Miller. Yep. Huge basketball fan. Yeah. He's a huge Brexton Green fan. He's a huge Cashin fan. <laughs> I, I talked with him today. They love Cashin. Absolutely. And we love, uh, they've got their boy, their boy and their daughter out here. And, uh, doing stuff and we appreciate it and love all of our sponsors can't do without you shape up fitness gateway realty grain and grage rural pest solutions diesel horse sports and orthopedic coffee creek church maple nixon diesel horse cash and all sports pioneer gibson legacy insurance and just legacy insurance wigan tool and ogle tree community state bank and do our scoreboard we love them thank you guys in trust insurance ac blue ribbon construction our man just yep brett shaddix i yep. love seeing that absolute pools and landscaping christy perry attorney at law water heater man Cash and First Baptist, and our newest member of the, uh, to the group is Rhino Roofing. That is a lot to read, but that's awesome because we got a lot of folks taking care of us. Yep. Hey, before we start doing the boys' game, just a breakdown of the girls. What a great one. 61-40, 21-point game. Uh, victory for the Cash and Lady Wildcats. Four girls in double digits, led by Neely Bedick with 16, with four make threes. 13 from Lauren Lamb. 12 from Izzy Reeves and 11 from Brooke Shelley. Chipping in three, Lauren Jenkins with three, Cindy Owens with three, and Bella Shank. We love seeing Bella comes in. She says, uh, she said, hey, let's let's put a brace on this bad boy. Let's get after it. She she she's able to get a, a three point basket. One thought about the girls game. Anything that stand out for you? Just the the high energy tonight and just the aggressiveness and and then just like our you know superstar that is playing in college came up here and told us. They're gelling, and that's what they're doing, and you can see it. And, and the way they're playing, their confidence is only getting bigger and bigger, and, it, and it's, it's fun to watch, and it's exciting to, to see where they're going to go. Yeah, so I, I loved watching it. They look silky smooth. All four quarters, they look terrific, and uh, the, the girls' team moves on to, uh, be, to 15 and 5 there for Coach Taylor. So for the boys here, we've got the visiting Tennessee Eagles, 10 and 2 on the season. Uh, they just came off of a loss to number 14, OCA, 52-57. But all I can remember is the, the game back at Three Rivers in the semifinals, which was a good one. It was all the it was all Jail Torres, the freshman center, who had a heck of a night for the Eagles that night. Uh, but it was the three-point shooting of Vance Rainey and, uh, and Austin uh, Austin Frazier in and out of the lane that were able to get the victory for Cashin as they went on to uh, – was that the finals? It was the finals yep. for the Three Rivers. They were able to get that – final tournament victory. What are you going to be looking for tonight, uh, Chris? Three-pointers. Whichever team knocks down the most three-pointers will probably win this game. Both of these teams have really good three-point shooters, and a lot of times both of these teams live and die by that three-point shot. If one of the teams is cold from three-point land and can't get anything else going, they're going to be at a huge disadvantage. And tonight, look and see, you know, if our defense can stay on those shooters and 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 stop the big man down low for Hennessy, but those shooting guards out there for for uh, Hennessy, if you let them get going, they can really really hurt you. Yeah, definitely uh, spot on, Chris. I couldn't agree with you more on that on that breakdown. And it'll be interesting to see uh, how uh, the Eagles attack Cashin this time around in terms of uh, their defense. And, uh, yeah, and that's one thing I was going to say, too. Both of these coaches know each other so well, and both coaches are so good that, you know, it's almost like a chess match out here to see how, like you said, how are they going to attack each other? How are you going to uh, guard them? You know, the thing is, is this Hennessy team, they may show a completely different different defense than they did last game against the Cash and Wildcats. So it's going to be interesting, that coaching matchup tonight. All right, we've got starting lineups coming up here Thank you. 
time for your Cash and Wildcats. All juniors, all day, Legas, Frazier, Rainey, Jenkins, Nababi. We got a couple other juniors coming off the bench and Tishner as well as uh, Bryson Hogan. And we expect to see sophomore Jackson Vandruff coming in to help out on that Jail Torres kid, the freshman that we talked about earlier. Really, it's going to be a good one for us. I, I expect a good one tonight. We every time that you mentioned, the teams know each other, they throw each other. Uh, so we're all with each other. We're all great, great top, great bottoms, a white outline, a maroon trim. All blue, a little bit of white here and there. Cash the home team jumping the ring of the gas against Torres. Here we go. Basketball time in Cash and Cashin. Tip is won there by the gas for Jenkins and Cash will start over. Man defense for the Eagles. I wonder if they're going to come out with 22. But hey, the Eagles play man. This is what we're Matched up against number 23, Christian Rodriguez. A lot of great guard play here for the Eagles, for sure. Yeah, and the, the officials, you know, they let them get away with some uh, bumping and, and being aggressive in that girls' game. Let's see if they let them get away with that in this, this boys' game, and, and it could be a physical game here uh, between these two t these two matchups. That's a turnover to the Castle Wildcats. Here. I'm not sure what happened. Looked like it was a curl out there from the Bobby to Rainey, and it looked like the Bobby on the walk. So first turnover of the game. Possession to goes to Hennessy. Deep three is up. In and out. Long rebound. Falls in the hands of Frazier. Quickly down the left side. No numbers, but he'll drive. He'll kick to Jenkins, and Cash will reset. Come down to Bobby. High post. With a throw to Legas. Nothing there. Torres matched up with him. See a combination of Legas and the Bobby out of the Torres kid. Yeah, and if they're going to have Torres come that far out away from the basket, I want to see somebody, you know, cutting to the rim and trying to go attack the rim without that big shot blocker right there in the middle. Cash is working with a high post of goal here. Let's see if we might get one of those here by the end of the night. Jenkins, staying patient, shoots a three. Bang! That's a start now for my man Jonah Jenkins, CP3. He's got a three, Cash has got three, they're up three, three nothing. First point of the game. Individual press here by uh, my man Legas, full court pressure on number 22, Wade Benson. The Bobby straight up, he's gonna get fouled early on. That's something you're gonna have to watch. You talked about the, <laughs> the touch fouls, I'm not sure what we saw there. Well, they, 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 sure, they sure didn't let a, a little bump go by there. And then, and Nick was just pretty much standing right behind him with his hands straight up, so I'm not sure what, what they saw there. It's two quick ones. <laughs> the baseline drive there by number one, Juan Dominguez. That's how you hang out your buddies out the drive. Great job there by Dominguez. The cash defender down the baseline. And we'll have a seat probably will not see him for the rest of the uh, first quarter for sure, if not the first half. Three ball is up, way off by number three, Christian Tovar. They're calling this game completely different than they did the girls. I mean, that there was bumping and, and hitting and being aggressive in that first game, and they were really letting them play and, and get away with that stuff. This game, they're kind of setting the precedence here earlier. We're not going to uh, let anything get by us. <laughs> so another quick foul. So two on the body quickly. We've got two on Hennessy literally in the last three. Cashing up. Vandruff checked in with Bobby. Rainey back into Jenkins. Cashing went a five out. Trying to get Torres a little bit out of the lane a little bit. Getting the middle is Wade Benson. Jumpers up. Good. Jonah, red hot, 5-0. Yeah, Jonah is so good uh, with that basketball in his hands and whenever he can start knocking down that jump shot, he's gonna be even more dangerous. No double dribble caller, Vandruff with the steal. Great work there by the sophomore out on the shifty Christian Tobar. Rainey, he says, give me the ball. Tip in from Legas into Vandruff. There's a bucket, we got a timeout. Coach 7-0 cashing up, 5-14. On a little run there, we're going to quick time out, be back from Cashin' Wildcat TV.
I'm Todd Miller, and this is Grain & Grange, the coolest furniture store you've never heard of. Come see us. All right, welcome back to Cash in Oklahoma. I'm Neiman Bobby. Cash and Wildcats TV here, cashing up 7-0. Great start here for the Wildcats. Legassi in there with a little press there on number 22, Wade Vincent. He gets a steal, pops it out, takes the middle, drives. Jenkins, Frazier, baseline floater is up. In and out, Legas going up high. Put back is not there and into the hands of number 30, Leighton Choke, Choke, Leighton Choke. Hennessy quickly back down right side. Rodriguez with a drive, dumped down to Torres. Hennessy will start over. Good possession there for Cash and everything but the bucket. Jumpers up, no good. Wade Vincent a little long, quickly down as Frazier down the middle. Cash will have another possession. Legas, right hand drive, pops. Then they get the fall, Vandrum with the tip out. Active hands with the Cash and Wildcats. Another empty possession. Good looks though. Torres with his look at the ball. He goes in against Vandruff and he'll get the foul. Man. So that'll be a team foul, number three against Cash and first against Vandruff. Torres getting a couple of fouls called for him. Wide body freshman. Free throw is good. With his first points, first points for Cat or for Hennessy, 7-1. Vantis will have a seat. Greeny will have a seat. Checking in will be so uh, Junior Bryson Hogan and Junior Trey Tishner. Most likely, Van uh, most likely the gas will have to be matched up with Torres. Second one is up. Looks good. Freshman again had a great game against Cash and last time around in the finals. A little 2-2-1 press here for the. Eagles, Cash and taking their time. Frazier skip past to Hogan. Hogan. Yes, we have to rush it in. The trap wasn't there. Gets it out top to Jenkins. Jenkins and Frazier back to Jenkins. Tishner and Cash in the set. 405 here, first quarter. Eagles coming out. A little extended. Extended 2 3. Dump down to Frazier, high post. He's quickly met by two Eagles. No extra pass back into Frazier. Curl, Tishner. Good work by the Cash and Wildcats. Staying patient. Great job there by the uh, Eagles in that 3-2 in that defense. Coming down, taking, trying to take away the short corner, high post away. Drive by Jenkins. He'll pull up with the jumper. It's good. <laughs> That's how you break that. Jenkins, red hot. 9-2, Cashin. Vincent, right side, Frazier on him. He'll go to the cup. We get another foul, doesn't fall. Who's this one to go against? That one will go against Frazier. That'll be his first. Five fouls against the Cashin Wildcats. I apologize, four, 14 fouls. Vincent will be awarded two from the free throw line. Free throws. The gas will get a well deserved break. Rainey will come in for him, and it looks like uh, he'll get somebody else at the table or not. But uh, he's up. Short. Frazier with the rebound. Tennessee in that 2 2 1 again. He gets Rainey back and forth. with being patient. Left to side and put across the timeline. Jenkins feeling it. That one is a little short. Tishner with the rebound. Not sure what we're going to have here. Looks like we have Rainey on the over the back. Even though it was Tishner and another player. I'm not sure. What did you see there, Tommy? The phantom call. Maybe it was just all, it was off ball. We got to trust the official. But I'm not sure what, what I saw in terms of the advantage gained. So that's the first on Rainey. 15 foul for Cashin. Torres in the lane, the battle will be with Vandruff. Drive by Cho, dumped down to Torres and it's good. Dribble penetration, making Vandruff have to come off Torres. 
probably would have let Chokefield score. I don't want to give it to, Ch uh, to Torres, but uh, he's able to get the pass. Nice play there by Choke finding the big freshman. Nice by. Up down to Vandruff, little reverse layup. It's good. Vandruff slashing. He's got four. Nice work from Frazier finding Vandruff in the short corner. Up down to Torres. Spin move. No foul call. We'll have what we'll have. Out of bounds. Nice work there by the Cash and Wildcats. I thought they'd be getting another foul call. But straight up. 11 5, Cash and up six. Landley Gas will come back in. Jenkins will have a rest. Choke with the three. It's up. In and out. Rebound comes in the hands of number 25. Maury. He puts it back in. His first points. 11 7. It was a 9-2 lead, now it's 11-7. Uh, and it's gone back. Cash is working a little high post short corner again, a little odd side over here. He dumped down into Tishner. Tishner will go up. Nice strong move by Tishner. He has his first bucket. 13-7, cashing up six. One minute left here in the first quarter. Nice take there by number one, Juan Dominguez, beating Tishner. He has his first points. Rainey will pull back up, 13-9, under a minute. And Dominguez and Rodriguez and Tova are all very quick guards. Corner Tishner backs out around the, around the horn they go. Rainey right side. Cash and reset. Right by Tishner. Dumped down and gets stolen there by Juan Dominguez. Turnover Cash in 24 seconds here, first quarter. 13 9. Appreciate you guys joining us here on a great Thursday night of basketball on Cash and Wildcat TV. Gas up top on Choke. Ten seconds. Mary handoff to Vincent. Frazier on him. Jumpers up at the buzzer. The gas with the ball. Now to go out of bounds. That'll be the end of the first quarter. It's a good one. Active. Cashing up four. 13 to nine. But the commercial will be right back here on Cash and Wildcat TV. Wiggins, Sewell, and Ogletree is dedicated to championing our clients through complicated and challenging litigations. We pride ourselves on a proven track record of success, brought forth by fierce litigation skills. The lawyers and staff of our firm are dedicated to effective and personalized representation for every client who entrusts our service. Uncompromising integrity, unparalleled results. Call Wiggins, Sewell, and Ogletree, 405-232-1211. Gateway Realty is a mother-daughter team that has a heart for small-town life. Both Anita and Kelly were born and raised in Cashin and are still raising their families here. Their family homesteaded in Cashin in 1908, and it's been home ever since. Anita and Kelly know this town, love this town, and would love to help make this your home, too. For a friendly face and trustworthy knowledge, call these hometown girls at 405-641-7388. Go Wildcats! <laughs> Welcome back to Cash in Oklahoma. I'm David Bobby joining me up here with my man Chris Gibson. Good to have you back, Chris. It's uh, Cash up 13 to 9, a very entertaining first half. Five fouls for Cash and two for Hennessy. That's been kind of a mini story here in that first quarter. And it's been all Jonah Jenkins and Kids from Rickness and Jackson Vandruff coming off the bench. Four points right off, right under these baskets. Doing a great job out of the short corner. Hennessy ball, choke in, swings back out to Rodriguez. Dominguez, Dominguez with long threes missed. Rebound out of Legas' hands into Frazier. Cash will have the ball. Nice little move there by Frazier. Nice work by Dominguez as well. Again, again, this Tennessee team, they can play defense. They can run with you. They can do a lot of stuff. We got Vandriff, and that's what we're going to watch. Vandriff high post, replaced by Frazier in the short corner. That odd, that odd set's really worked for Cash in these last couple of, for these last couple of buckets. They've got 12, the uh, big guy, you know, out there covering Jonah. You want to see, you know, Jonah grab that ball, put it on the floor, and go by him. And whoever comes to help, 
let him drop a dime. As long as Frazier didn't get stuck in that corner, I'm okay with that. Can't telegraph that. Dominguez is too good. Underneath, no foul call, fortunately, for Cashin. Quickly down, Rainey, and I think the officials must have looked up and said, you know what, let's let these kids play. <laughs> Well, and Jackson did a good it. job of just kind of running in front and yeah. not really getting into the body of Dominguez. Showed out on Rainey. We'll switch the screen there with uh, Legas on the block. High post, short corner. There it is. Going up strong, and it's good. Legas, and that's how you draw it up. Legas with his first bucket. He was held scoreless last the other night, Tuesday night, against Fairview. Good to see him put that one through. Cashing up 15-9. Yeah, good job just to get the ball into the middle of that zone defense and then find the streaking land on the gas. Torres with the uh, lefty that doesn't fall. Good work there by Vandruff, just basically muscling up in the beginning and then just, hey, saying, hey, you know what, I gotta go straight up at some point. Either makes it or he doesn't. Rebound up to Cashin, under six, second quarter, Cashin up six. Cashin continues to look at that high post short corner right here. Get that zone defense by Hennessy. One more skip pass to Rainey for the three. It's off. Vandra fighting for it. That'll be his second. Goodness gracious. Cashin running out of fouls down low. That's 16 fouls for the Cashin Wildcats. Two for Hennessy. Next foul on Cashin will send the Eagles to the bonus. Checking in for Vandra is Tishner. Press here for Cashin. It's kind of slowing down the Eagles. And now you got Landon down there on the big guy. And uh, Landon, the good thing about Landon, got big guy got it over him that time, but Landon is, is so good and has that quick jump and can jump, you know, with the best of them. Absolutely. And even though he's not as tall, a lot of times he's a pretty good defender on those post players. Heck yeah. Torres with another bucket. He's got six. Leading score, obviously, for the NFC Eagles. 15-11. Two-point lead. Three-two for the Eagles. They, they started off in a man. And they've sunk back into that, that zone defense, trying to take away that three-point shot. Now the cash and offense has certainly stalled. They kind of gone away. They're set, trying to set up a screen up top there with Frazier. He shoots a three off the give. It's long. Rebound to Dominguez. And with Vandruff and Mababi out, that you know you're gonna have to depend on uh, the gas and, and Frazier on that short corner high pose pass. So they've got a foul here on other ones. That's how on Frazier. That's two on Frazier. So three separate players for Cashin with two fouls, Frazier, Le uh, Frazier, Nabobby, and Vandra. As they say, bold don't lie as Wade Vincent goes the line. This is the first. Dominguez will have a break coming in for him as Cole Richter, the sophomore. And Nabobby with two fouls. Be careful, son. Frazier will get a well-deserved well, well -deserved break. He'll have the task of blocking out Torres. Going up high, nice work there between Legas and Rainey. Rainey comes down with it. Jenkins is thrown to the cup. He'll get the foul. Nice work there recognizing. And that's where Jonah will hit, hit that little delay. That time he, he just put it in third gear and said, let's go. Yeah, I like seeing him take that ball to the rim strong like that and uh, going up and getting fouled. So Richter, who just checked in with the foul, Mass substitution again back for the for Coach Barton. Is that Coach Barton, is it? No. It's Coach Fairview. I think this coach is right on his face. This is what is up. Good. Nice work there by Jenkins converting. Vincent with the ball. Rodriguez is checked back in as well as Tovar. Back down to Torres. Deep in. Oh, goodness. That's just bad luck. Yeah, and that time, I mean, at least uh, Nick, you know, coming up and trying to get that ball right there in the middle, uh, didn't reach. Got up there, got his hands out, didn't reach to get that third foul, but got the ball down to to uh, Torres and uh, got drew the foul. 
made the bucket but not, didn't convert on the one. Yeah, the dribble penetration has been what's been killing Cassius. You know, the guards coming in and finding Torres. Extended out to Bobby. Doesn't look to score. Tishner with the drive. To Bobby with the drop step. Not there. That pass stolen, intended for Landon Legas. Nice job there by Vincent getting a free left. But the turnover on the bad pass quickly out is Jenkins left side. Cup gets the Tishner. Loose ball back in the hands. That's a situation where, oh, that's a cheap foul. That'll send number 23, Rodriguez, to the line. That's a deal where I think, you know, Jenkins probably should have just kept it. That's exactly what I was going to say. Jenkins going to the rim with all that traffic in there. Nobody had their feet set. Go up strong to the rim, make a bucket or get fouled. So Torres will get a break. Well deserved. Kids got eight points for us. Got eight of their 13. Rodriguez in the line for the one and one. Rebound goes to Rainey. If it, if it wasn't for free throws, this, this game may be in the hands of Hennessy right now. We had that quick start, and uh, they were in that man defense. I guess while I was out, they switched over to that zone and just kind of yep. slowed everything down. 3-2. Cash was responding with that short corner high post play, and they kind of gotten away from it. They tried some high screens, and Coach Hardaway will take a timeout. So 3-11 here in the second quarter. Cash is still up four, 17-13. We'll go to timeout here on Cash and Wildcat TV. Cash and FBC is a church seeking to grow in Christ and our love for the body of Christ. With ministries from children to youth to adults, we strive to present the gospel in an engaging and meaningful way. Sunday school meets at 9.45 a.m. and worship starts at 11 a.m. Children and youth meet on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Please check our website at cashandfbc.org for more information and we hope to see you this Sunday. Located a half mile east of Cashin. Back to Cash in Oklahoma. I'm the Bobby up here with Chris Gibson, my man Tommy Branson producing. Appreciate you joining us. Cash up four, 17 13. With the ball, three minutes here, second quarter. Eagles going back to a man defense. We've got Bryson Hogan is checked back in. Jenkins, left hand drive, dumped down to Legas underneath. Goes straight up, no foul call, misses it. Goes his own rebound, back up. Cannot get it to fall. Legas has just been snake bitten underneath the basket the last few games. Baseline drive. Dominguez misses it. Long rebound out on the other side is Jenkins. Jenkins will curl and start back up. No foul call there. Coach Hardaway will reset. If, you're, if I'm mentioning foul calls, it's because the foul counts nine for Cash and three for Hennessy. Next foul for Cash will be a double bonus. Drive for Rainey, and we'll get the block there. Will they count it? Count it, yes sir! Vance Rainey, a little dribble penetration. Got the uh, Eagles falling asleep a little bit. That'll be Rainey's first bucket of the game. He's got two. Vandrup will check back in. A little defense in for, uh, Vander, uh, for uh, Hogan. Torres will check back in for number 25. Noah Moore, he's a senior. 19-13, cashing up six, which feels like it should be up six. Rainey with the free throw, and it's good. Converts the three-point play. 20 to 13, cashing up seven, full court press. Rodriguez, after Dominguez, Dominguez, cross court, Tovar, back to Rodriguez, Vincent, Dominguez, baseline drive, it's up, he's <laughs> missing, are we gonna get a foul? Is that one gonna go against us, are you kidding me? Yep. How does the kid who comes up with the ball get called for the foul? He's going up with two hands to catch it. Is it because Torres was in the neighborhood and he got bumped? I don't know if uh, where he saw the foul, maybe before he went up, like you said, with both hands, got him with his uh, hip or something, you know, I got the know. hip I into mean, it. Come on. I can't, I, I didn't see the foul. So Vandrup with three. Ten team fouls for Cash and four for Hennessy. I'm not sure what Vandruff can do in that situation. He didn't throw Torres out of the way. Nonetheless, we're far, we're 90 feet away from it or 120 yeah. feet, so it is what it is. 
We love our fishes. But we certainly, but we're homers. We're homers here at Castle Mile Cap TV, or at least I am. Right? We, we don't try to hide that. <laughs> 2015, cashing up five. Under two minutes, Jenkins to Rainey. 3-2 again for Fair or for Hennessy. Gonna slow it up. Cashing five outs. We've got Tishner, Legas, Hogan, Rainey, and Jenkins, Coach Hardaway basically out of half court talking to Jenkins, having a conversation, and maybe getting a cup of coffee or soda there. I don't know if Cashin's gonna go to a slowdown here. Tennessee's extended their defense now. Dominguez out on Rainey. Tishner. Cash will reset. I mean, I know he's wanting to, you know, hold the ball out there, run the clock, but is he wanting them to, to extend that defense, to open it up a little bit to where we have somewhere to drive? Maybe that's what they're, they're really working towards. Cash is going to stall it out and wait for Hennessy Eagles to, to blink and have to come out. 57 seconds. Legas trolling the free throw line from elbow to elbow. Might have a little give and go. Or there it is. There's a, almost a walk. Got to be careful, Legas. Up down to Tishner. He'll shoot the three wide open. Hogan over the back. That's going to send. Two more free throws. Send the Eagles to the free throw line. If I told you the Eagles have a third of their points from the free throw line, you wouldn't be surprised, would you? No. Wade Vincent on the foul on Hogan. He's got one. That's 11 team fouls. Actually, 12 team fouls. That didn't cash in the first half. This is the first of the double bonus. Senior Wade Vincent. He's got one. This is the second. Rebound by Rainey. Nice work. 42 seconds. Cash is still up five. Hey, make sure you hang with us here at halftime. We'll have a couple commercials, but we got a special guest, Bella Shank, coming up here. Love, love to hear the story about Bella Shank and her return. So make sure that you hang tight with us, and Chris will have an update on Achievement Day. Definitely don't want to miss that. Crazy Saturday out here at the Ad Bar. We love Achievement Day. We love our 4-H and FFA partners here at Cashin. 15 seconds. Jenkins on Dominguez. Left hand, dump down to Legas. He'll go up off the glass, count it. Legas has got four, two, one. Vincent will hold it, and that's how you do it right there. Cashing up 22 to 15. Not pretty, partner, but it's a seven-point lead. And we've got halftime here in Cashin, Oklahoma. Thank you guys so much for joining us here. We'll go to a quick timeout. We've got Bella Shane coming up. We'll be back in a sec. Absolutely. Well, actually, we're going to have the cheerleaders. And land we'll have the cheerleaders, Tommy. Thank you, sir. Remind me as uh, we'll, we'll take her. And Bella Shank, you are not down there doing any dancing. So, nope, so she's got her ear on. And over here, we'll turn off the volume and let you enjoy a halftime dance by the Cash and Cheer team. Oh, oh, we're doing the thing, so I gotta work with this. Here.
Netscape is not your ordinary pool builder. From traditional to exotic and anything in between, our staff offers paramount quality and service through the entire design and build process. We provide service to the entire OKC metro and surrounding towns. So relax knowing our team is wholeheartedly committed to building a trusting and lasting relationship with you. Visit us on Facebook or give us a call today at 405-285-9729. Absolute Pools, Lawns, and Landscape. the pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. All right, welcome back to Cash in Oklahoma, Cash and Wildcats TV Thursday night basketball. Doubleheader, Cash and boys up 22-15 over the Hennessy Eagles. It's been a mixed bag, but uh, certainly, uh, you know, from a standpoint of the score, we'll definitely take it. Uh, Jonah Jenkins uh, with nine points leading the way for the Cash and Wildcats and uh, uh, we certainly uh, look forward to a very active and festive second half. But joining me up here in the crazy corner, this is kind of where they, they, they leave the uh, obsolete people, the crazy people, the nutty people like me and Chris. We're up here in the corner. But thanks for joining us. Is Miss Bella Shank, senior extraordinaire. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Now your mic is on. Now you can say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bella, is this your first time up here with us? It is not. Second time. That's right. That's right. We had a, we had an interview. That's right. So you're... This should be like easy breezy. Oh yeah, it's great. I feel easy. comfortable. Well, we're <laughs> so comfortable. We are so grateful to have you up here. And you know, um, we, we definitely want to jump into basketball, but we have been trying to sing the praises of the cheerleading team. You were part of that fifth place team at state. You know, you're a multi-sport athlete. You got a little bit of a track and field in you as well, and basketball. And what, what's it like to be on the cheer team? How's that, How you know, what what's that experience been for you? It's been great. I absolutely love those girls. They're, you know, <laughs> A lot like my basketball team, they're all you know close knit, tight. They're really fun to play with. They're well cheer with, <laughs> and uh, they're a group of funny girls. I mean, I've loved getting able to being able to branch out and kind of do different things. And obviously, I'm pretty close to some of them. Allison, yeah. senior cheerleader, and all them. So it was really fun. I loved it. Is there anything that that you can take from cheer that goes into basketball and track? Communication, definitely. You gotta. Uh, it's. I mean, it's a thing that goes through all sports. I feel like and. You have to communicate and cheer, you know. Obviously, you're screaming the whole time, so. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's awesome. I definitely think communication is a big thing. Teamwork, staying together, and definitely not giving up. It's really tough. Sometimes you drop a stunt or uh, something bad happens, you mess up. But everybody's there to just pick you up, and that's what, something in basketball and cheer. So. Oh, very inspiring. Well stated. <laughs> I like that. That's Thank outstanding. You. And you're right. In terms of team sports, right, communication is yeah. paramount, right? Yeah. Absolutely. What, whatever you're playing. So uh, well stated. I like that. So so that's now transition to basketball. You, We won't talk about what happened, but we're going to talk about how you have, have shown resiliency and resolve, and you've come back. We saw you at senior night. Put up that three. I was awesome. You've been, yeah. been kind of, you've been kind of on the bench, yeah. And and so mending some stuff. So you're back out playing. What what happened? So who made the decision? What's going on? Uh, I think it was me talking with my parents a lot, definitely. But I think what pushed it over the edge, to say, to for lack of better words, is my mom watching me tumble out and cheer. <laughs> She, which I know where my body's going when I'm doing that. I've tumbled before, so but I think her being able to see me out there doing something that's physical, and she was, I think that was her saying, okay, you know, we can maybe try something yeah, new, let's, see let's what happens. Up, get a brace on yeah. There, see what happens. Well, I absolutely love seeing you out there. I, you know, again, I, I mentioned this before. I've seen, I've seen you working your tail off in the gym, shooting, wonderful form shooter. You got it all inside, outside, and and so. I know you, you took a couple shots early. That third one was pretty when you made that Thank three. Thank you Didn't so it feel much. Good? It, it felt feel, great. I missed that more than anything. And it was a perfect shot, great form shot. I mean, it was a swish. And and, and, it, and, and I know you said it, it felt good. Yeah, it did. So, so are, you, are you energized? Are you ready to go? Did I you, am. I feel like I'm still shaking. I've got so much energy going in me right now. All right, very good. Well, let's talk about we got just another minute here. So welcome back to the team. So 
moving from bench to player now, what have you been noticing about this team over the last few weeks and, and kind of leading up to these last few games where I think the girls have looked, you all have looked yeah. really, really good? Um, we, I think we've come together more in these last few games than we have in any games, you know, win or loss. It's just like we're always there for each other. And that, you know, I feel like in the beginning of any season, it's kind of like you got to learn how to play with each other, see what's happening with new girls coming up. And so I think we're to the point now where it's like we're blended together and it's just smooth. And I think that's the difference in everything. Yeah. Absolutely. Well stated. I, and we saw that. I think the word Kate, Kate and Taylor was uh, on earlier. She used the word, I think, gel. Right? Yeah, just perfect. Gelling, yeah. Right? And, and you can see that. And I think there was one play that we saw where – I think Ella Sunkin just basically caught a deep pass on a fast break and literally just turned and knew that Lauren yeah, Lamb was on the Yeah, that was opposite. so smooth. I was, was I was hyped up on the bench. It was great. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So it, it's, it's kind of like that. So, all right, well, listen, Bella, welcome back. I'm glad you made that three. I'm glad you were shooting the ball. You got a great stroke, and so I hope they, they continue to find you there on the baseline behind the arc. Uh, for you guys moving forward, what, what's like one thing that you guys want to continue to work on as a team? What's Coach Taylor kind of pointing to? Um, definitely being energized, hyping each other up more. That's what, you know, getting each other fired up even in a bad play, that's what changes plays from, you know, being lazy on the bench to wanting to get up there and, you know, do something crazy is everybody screaming at you, everybody <laughs> hyping you up. And I think that's what teammates are there for. You know, you've got a coach there to coach you and you've got teammates there to lift you up and to help you when you're down and stuff. So. Well, 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 welcome back, Bella. We love seeing you out there on the court. So we're happy to be back. And, <laughs> and we look for uh, more and more from you here uh, in, the, in the next few games. So uh, thanks so much. Great job, Bella. Thank Bella you. Shank Sr., extraordinaire, track and field, <laughs> tumbling. I had no idea she was a tumbler. We knew she was a great three-point tuner and basketball player, and it's great to see her back. So uh, with that, we've got about a minute left. We're going to go to a quick timeout uh, as we've got uh, third uh, second half action about to start as your Cash and Wildcats are up 22-15. Thanks so much for joining us here on Cash and Wildcats TV. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Welcome back to uh, Cash in Oklahoma, Cash and Wildcats TV here. I'm Eamon Bobby, my man Chris Gibson. Joining me up here in the corner. It's second half action, third quarter starting, cashing up 22-15. Chris, it was, I was mentioning, it was kind of a goofy first half. You know, I know the fouls weren't great, but, um, you know, you look up, cashing's up seven. I'm not sure how it happened. Yeah, well, I mean, they got out to that really good start and then just kind of hit a lull there when they went to that, you know, that, that zone defense. But... With that lead, I mean, the Hennessy guys, they haven't really hit a bunch of threes, and that's what I was talking about early on. Whoever hits the most threes, and we hit a couple there, you know, at the first of the game, too. Don't go uh, Frazier's way. 
jump ball and that possession run against the Hennessy. 22-15, under six, under seven, I should say. We've got the uh, gas, Jenkins, and Bobby, and Amy, and Brady's out there with five for Cashman. Bobby with two matched up against Torres with a tip out. Great work there by number 24, the junior. Working to get around Torres, wide body. Better than points. Always. <laughs> It'll work. Yeah, she stayed in that short corner. We'll weave out there on the, on the side there. Bobby to Jenkins. No reset. Yeah, she's staying patient. Dump down to, to Bobby. He'll curl. Kick out. Nice pass out to Jenkins. He loses it. Not sure what was going on there with Jenkins. I think he's trying to get a move. Dominguez with a long three. Balls out of hands, Rainey somehow Rainey's able to get it. Right side, layup is good. Nice work there by Vance. Johnny on the spot. And yeah, that kind of just rolled off the hands of the Hennessy <laughs> Eagles right into the hands of, of John, uh, uh, Vance Rainey just streaking down the floor. The Bobby with another steal. Great work there by 2-4 on Torres, shutting him down. Brazier will kick the look. Rainey with the three, it's up. Bang! Vance Rainey, first three timeout. Tennessee catching up 12. Partner will leave it here. That's a nice little start yeah. here for the third quarter. Well, and that's one. almost exactly how the very first of the game started. You know, we had that good little run, and Tennessee coach called it a quick timeout to slow things down. You know, at halftime, they must have really went in. The movement on the offense for the Wildcats is so much better in this second half than it was in that, you know, late in that first half. And uh, that right there alone has opened up some things that, that weren't really there in the first half. And making big shots like Vance just hit never hurts anything either. Well, Cat, uh, Rance Rainey's got five here and, and uh, here in the second half, and that's all the five points that Cash has got. It's been beautiful. Made uh, back it on a fast break off of a tipped out rebound and big time three there set up by uh, nice work there by the cash and offense on the skip and run around and Jenkins finding Brady on the baseline. And Austin that time grabbed the ball, you know, and and really created that by driving into that lane. He would he could have had Jonah on one side or Vance, found Vance and Vance drained the, the shot. So with that, uh, again, Cash and staying with Legas, Rainey, Jenkins, Nabavi, and Frazier. Legas picking up Tove or Vincent right from the get-go with the pressure. Choke, he's checked in for, for Hennessy. A little pressure that almost got the trap on the steal, or the steal on the trap. Dumped down to Bobby with another steal on the Aaron pass. That's three empty possessions for Hennessy. Right yeah. in five minutes. It's always good when the other team doesn't even get a shot at. <laughs> three possessions in a row. You score more points, you don't let them score. Legas high post, looking at Cutty <laughs> Frazier on the baseline. He's still there, open. Doesn't find him, but Jenkins will set back up. Short corner to Bobby to Rainey. Heck yeah, it's up. Bang! Vance Rainey, two for two from three. Second half. It's now a blued up to a 15 point lead for Cash and Dominguez on the drive. Choke, no walk call. Vincent out to Dominguez. And is he trying to dribble, penetrate, kick? It's not there. Dominguez wanting the foul. Legas quickly down the middle. He'll take it all the way up. No foul call. And I guess the officials have swallowed their whistles now. They took a look maybe and said, we're gonna let this go. Vincent, Euro, good move there beating uh, Legas there. Give credit to Wade Vincent. Yeah, that, that time, you know, he was just kind of coming across that lane and picked up his dribble and did a uh, cut to the basket and uh, paid it off with a little layoff, off, layup off the glass. So the timeout, we'll leave it here, Tommy. It's okay. I think it might be a 30-second. Uh, I, I, I didn't see the official, but uh, we'll keep it here. 30 to 17, cashing up 13. It ballooned up to 15 at, before Vincent was able to get that bucket. And that is the first point for the Tennessee Eagles here in the second half. Yeah, the, you know, as good as our offense has been, our defense has been even better. And that's what kind of has sprung that offense. That turning that offense, defense into offense. Nick Nabavi, I think he's had three steals in this very, what, first four minutes of the second half. Defense turns into offense, and it's been the hot hand of Vance Rainey, who has eight points here in the second half. 
fact, he has all of Cash's points here in the second half. So checking in for Nababi is Vandruff. Tishner coming in for Legas. It'll be, it'll be Cash and Ball after the made bucket by Vincent. Full court press for Hennessy. Deep pass to Frazier. Nice, nice work there by Jonah Jenkins pointing it out. Jenkins baseline, he'll curl back out. Nice job by Dominguez on the cutoff. Rainey for three. No foul call. Vandra fighting for the ball. No foul call there either. Nice drive, Dominguez. He'll kick back out. Tipped out by Tishner. Dominguez will curl back. He'll kick Rodriguez. Seal off by Torres. Triple teamed. Nice job by the cash and defense. Goes in and out into the hands of number 25, Moray. Dominguez with the three. It's in and out. Vandra fighting for it. And we'll get the foul. Goodness gracious. You know, at some point, at some point, you got to give Vandra some credit for boxing out. Yeah, the big kid, I mean, all he did was kind of lean in to, to uh, Jackson, and uh, they called the foul on Jackson. That's four. I mean, I appreciate Torres. I love Torres' game, by the way. This is not a knock on Torres at all. Kid's got, he's a freshman. Solid game. He's got 11. I mean, without him, they don't have anything. Yeah, well, and, the, and give credit to the, the cash and defense. You know, I talked about the good three-point three, three point shooting by Hennessy. Well, they, you know, I think I've seen one really wide open three. Other than that, they've been running them off the line yep. and making them go down low to Torres or, you know, take something contested to the basket. 2-2-1. Two, two, Torres is able to convert on the two free throws. 30-19, to 11-point lead for Cashin. What was a 15-point lead now is a 4-0 run for Hennessy over the last minute. Right at three minutes here in the third quarter. It's a good one. It's going to continue to be a good one. Cashin taking their time with this 3 2. Dump down. Nice work. <laughs> Frazier wasn't expecting it. He'll get his own rebound. He'll get it. <laughs> Great individual play by Frazier. He, Legas said, hey, here you go, hot potato. Frazier wasn't expecting it, but great job on the cut in by uh, Rainey into the, into the lane. And Cash is able to convert that, breaking that 3 2. And we, you knew, can, we knew Tishner and Hardaway yeah, could draw I was, something up. I was just about to say, you can tell that Coach Hardaway, Coach Tishner went in there at the halftime and said, here's how we're going to attack this. And you could see them setting it up. And then once the ball started moving, wide open shots happened. So uh, Matt Scrum, uh, offensive rebound for Hennessy, rolls back out to number five. Uh, was that Cole Richter? It may have been Dominguez on that baseline drive. Rainey with a foul, his second. Two fouls for Cash in here. That was a tough call there on the block. Pass back out to number three, Christian Tovar. Deep three by Dominguez, splits the legs. There we go, finally. Nice work there by Nick Nabavi. Are whoa, they going to call whoa, out on Nabavi? Okay, I was, about, I was about to throw my headset on the court. As he, <laughs> that was a textbook blockout of Torres. Yeah, about the same he maybe. pointed down like he's staying here, but I think he meant, you know. <laughs> I, don't, that, I don't know what the coach for Hennessy's complaining about. No, that was a great block out by Nick Nabavi, and that's what you got to do when you're playing against a big kid. Get in position, block out, and get them out of the lane so you can get that rebound, and that's exactly what Nick did right there to draw that foul on uh, Torres. That's Is that Torres' second foul? I think that's his second I'm not sure what the discussion is. Okay. You know, appreciate our, our officials, take, you know, making sure they got everything correct and lined up. 2-2-1, two, two, press here for Hennessy, looking to get that trap. Cash will keep it back and forth in the middle. Keep it out of the corners, look to the middle. The Bobby quickly across to Rainey. Nice work by the Cash and offense, breaking that press. Yeah, it's nice having Nick there that was has been a guard his whole life, right? <laughs> right there in the center of that uh, press break to be able to put the ball on the floor and go down uh, and get it open. So Nick, with a nice jump stop, does not use the backboard and will have over the back by Legas. I know Mom and Bobby's yelling at him to use the dang backboard. And just to go up strong, so missing out. Legas going strong, missing. He'll get the foul on the over the back of Torres. It'll be three team fouls for Cash and two for Legas. 
missed opportunity there for the Cash and Wildcats. Up 13 here, 32-19. Jump shot is up. Little block out, nice work there by the cash and offense. Mm -hmm. Frazier had Tishner, he does find him. A little too late, but nice work there. Tishner pulls back out wisely and Cashin will reset. 139, baseline drive by Tishner, kick to Rainey to Nababi. And Hardaway will get his call set here with one minute and 30 seconds here in the third quarter. So we've got Legasse, Tishner, Nababi, Rainey, and Frazier. And uh, unforced turnover there. I'm not sure if Frazier's disgusted himself. I think we join you, brother. I bet Branson down there. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. Hopefully we still have that piece of plastic there on the uh, yeah. scoreboard table table there on the sideline. Well, um, on this side of the floor down here, I remember in the, in the first game against Tennessee, we started fronting Torres, and that was – very, very effective and having somebody kind of come over and help. Let's see if Nick doesn't start doing that more in this second half. So we've got one minute here, third quarter. Rodriguez back out to Tovar. Tovar for three, it's off. Nice rebound there by Tishner. Tishner pushes back, Jenkins says slow down. Legas back to Tishner. And Jenkins will set up under a minute. Most likely last, last possession here of the third quarter. Cashing up 32-19. It's been their Vance Rainey show here in the third quarter. We've got Tovar matched up, and the rule here is six feet below the ball, right? Below, below. and uh, Hennessy not even uh, going to attempt to do anything. We'll play this out. And again, whether it's Cashin or Hennessy or whatever team, I love shot clock. I can't wait for that to happen in, in yes. high school basketball. Yeah, uh, and if. <laughs> Until there's a shot clock, <laughs> this is going <laughs> to happen. You're going to see this. It's exactly right. So we're sitting right at 12 seconds. We see something here right about 9 or 8. Hardaway's going to get his play. 3-2. The Bobby right in the middle, dump down, kick out to Rainey. Baseline drive, reverse layup. It's going to go out of bounds off the hands of number 22. Wade Vinson will be cashing the ball with 3.5. They've got a chance here. Rainey back to Jenkins. Jenkins with the three. He forces it. He had a chance. And that'll be the end of the third quarter here on Cash and Wildcats TV, where your Cash and Wildcats are up 13, 32 19 over the visiting Hennessy Eagles. We'll go to commercial. Be right back here. In a bit. Christy Perry is a Cash and based attorney providing clients in Oklahoma with trusted, experienced legal counsel regarding wills and trusts, bankruptcy, and other areas of law. Flexible scheduling is available to discuss your options, and your first consultation is free. If you need assistance regarding a legal matter, call your local Oklahoma licensed attorney, Christy Perry, at 918-373-0882. All right, welcome back. I'm Dean Bobby up in the, up here in the upper northwest corner, northeast corner. I'll never get our directions right. My man Chris Gibson. Thanks so much for joining us here. It's a great night of basketball. Thursday night, fourth quarter action about to start. Skip pass to Legas, dump down over Torres. Legas is good. He's got six. It's exactly what we needed from number two. Cashing up 34-19. Back up to 15. Biggest ties the biggest lead of the game. Hennessy right side again. This is number six versus number four here in Class 2A. Cash and winning that first game in the championship of the Three Rivers. Choate looking to find it into Torres. And the Bobby working hard on number 12, the front. Three ball is up by Rodriguez, and it's good. First made three. Yeah, and you see Vance Hennessey right Eagles. there, you know, saying, hey, that's me. I didn't get out there and get that hand up in time. And, uh, and that's why they haven't been making those threes is we have that hand in their face, and it's just not they, – they haven't had a wide open three. So that's first points for Rodriguez. It's been all Jail Torres. Floater is up. It's not there. Nababi underneath with a rebound. He'll go up and under. Finds the backboard that time, and he's got his first points of the game. Nice work there by Nick Nababi on the offensive rebound. 36-22. Choke with the three. It's up. In and out. Vance Rainey 
quickly up. Let's see if Hardaway slows him down. He says no, put it in gear and go. Jonah Jenkins putting on a clinic over there on the left side. CP3 says, give me the ball. And Cash will reset. Frazier left side looking for the trap. Finding Rainey in the deep corner. Rainbow, short corner to Legas. Rainey will shoot the three, it's up, in and out. Nice job, Nabaga on the block out. Ball is loose, goes to Frazier. Hardaway wisely calls a timeout. That was a great timeout there by Coach Hardaway with 6.16 left here as a little bit discombobulated. We'll leave it here, don't worry about it. We'll maybe watch a little bit of cheerleaders, Tommy. Chris and I will kind of break it down. So again, it, it's you know only one made three for the Eagles. Torres has been the guy. That's who they've been able to go to. But to your point, Chris, it's been the uh, fronting of Nick Nabavi here in the second half with two fouls and the backside help with the, either a Frazier or Jenkins. It's been the story here. Yeah, that fronting of Torres and, and getting those steals to really you know boost that offense in the very first of the uh, the second half. And then you look at we have three made threes to their one. I mean that. I told you right, you know, beginning of the game is who makes the most threes wins the game. And both these teams, sometimes they struggle scoring the ball if they can't get those to fall. Legas with the inbounds going up high. No pressure on him. He throws the floater in. He's got back to back. Love seeing that from Legas. Kid's a great athlete. Saw him on the football field do great things. Honorable mention, little all city. The Bobby Frontier coming over to help with Frazier. Torres is able to get his first bucket of the second half, I believe, from the field. Frazier's a little late there on the help. And Torres is just a tough match. Trying to get out of that trap, gotta go to the middle. There it is, finally. And that's how you break it. Took him about 10, 10 tries to find Nabavi in the middle there, but they finally get it, going back and forth. Cashin will reset, up 14, 38, 24. Frazier, left-hand cup. Legas in the short corner on the dive. And it's good, Legas, welcome, welcome, sir. Good job by going up and getting that ball and then going up between two defenders and getting it, getting the bucket. So Nabavi had no other choice but to stand there like a scarecrow, watch Vincent go right by him, puts it in. Yeah, and Vincent, you know, he hasn't made any threes and he's one of their better three-point shooters. So he's taking it, you know, on himself to go towards the basket. And you saw earlier, he had the nice Euro. Yep. That time he took it strong to the basket, made a good move, and got it up and off the backboard for two. All right, so time out there by, I believe that was by Coach uh, uh, for Hennessy. Cash in full court. It's Brady Page, how can I forget that? You know Coach Page, he does a wonderful job with that program. Jenkins in in the middle. He'll curl. Trying to get out of that trap. Pass into Tishner, who's checked in for Legas, who's been red hot here in the fourth, third and fourth quarter. And Cashin will reset, Rainey up top. 4.55, right under five minutes. Rainey with the left hand drive kick to Frazier. And we got a foul. <laughs> Hey, he was there. Something must have happened. And you know what? When, when a player loses the ball, sometimes there's you have no other choice but to call it because if he ends up getting it poked out and stolen, then you know he's like, oh, I should have yeah. called that one. So out of bounds, second team foul. Dangerous pass into Tisha from Nabavi. He'll go in, kicks out to Frazier for the three. It's short. Quickly down is Vincent. Nice pass. He was trying to thread the needle there to Dominguez. <laughs> right idea. Good job there by Frazier with the active hands. And good job by Frazier there. You know, he missed the three. He didn't sit down there and feel sorry for himself. He hustled back and made a play on the ball. So checking back in is Legas and Vander. Vander's got four. And I, and I think I think the uh, Eagles have 14 fouls called on the whole game. I think they finished with two in the first half as well. So 3-2 here. Not as many for Cash, though, thankfully. Vincent with the three. He's warming up. He's got eight. Jenkins quickly passed the trap on the sideline. Three ball is up, not in. Fighting for the rebound is Torres. He comes down with it. Four minutes. Dominguez with three. It's short. Fighting for the rebound. Goes in the hands of Jenkins. Nice job there by 
Tishner and Vandra fighting Torres. Loose ball falls into Jenkins' hands. And Cashman will set up. Cashman's got to stay away from those corners in that trap. A really athletic Hennessy team. They've always done a great job bringing the pressure. Nice work finding the middle, and that's how you do it. Dump down, we'll, we'll bring everyone to it, and you hit the cross. Tishner for three, it's up. Legas, nice tip out over Whoa. Choke. Rainey will have it. Nice work by Jenkins to slow it back down. Let's run another few more seconds off here. Up, up 11. Spin move, we're gonna have a foul there. I think Cho said, look, I'm trying to foul him. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, we talk about hair game. Now, Cho has got a good hair game here. That, Not that, as good as my man Braxton Green. Well, he I was, was I was thinking Tanner Dean style Tanner right Dean, there. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Now, that's certainly a party in the back. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, but business in the front. Yeah, that's right. Congrats to uh, congrats to Caden Harrell and his commitment to Oklahoma Baptist University. Following Alex Nababi out there and, and Braxton Green going out to Emporia. Nice job by Legas. No foul call, but we'll take it. Yeah, and that time Landon just you know, took it strong the there. On his own, you know. <laughs> no, no. He's usually pretty good about standing on his feet. Nababi working on Torres, fronting him, keeping him out of the lane. Three ball is up and it's good by Choke. That's his first point. Leighton Choke, the sophomore. I'm just talking about his hair game. He's got a good good hand there. Yep. Ten point lead for Cashin, 42-32. Timeout. We'll go to quick timeout. Be right back here in Cashin Wildcat TV. <laughs> At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. Welcome back to Cash in Oklahoma. Thursday night basketball here live from Ca uh, from the Show Palace, I guess. I don't know, the Den. I don't know. We've had about 16 different names where it's your Cash in Wildcats up 10, 42-32 over the sixth-ranked Hennessy Eagles. My man Chris Gibson joining me. I'm Neiman Nababi. Thanks so much for joining us. Nababi into Frazier. Curl into Legas. Legas, pump fake. Looks like he'll be knocked out of bounds. And retain possession here for Cashin on the baseline. And they sit Torres in this, uh, <laughs> you know, they get it with the intent, sit Torres in this two minutes. You know, I guess they're maybe, maybe thinking bringing in our three three point shooters and uh, try to get it back in the game that way. Yeah, absolutely. And he's been shut down here in the second half. I think he only has two points here in the second half. Seems like that's how it was in that first game against Tennessee, too. He did really well, scored a lot of points in that first half, and then really got shut down in the second. So nice little block to block passing there. I think Nababi was expecting it a little bit faster from Legas, but uh, he got it in. Nababi was uh, not able to get it in, but he was rewarded with free throws. You know what, I talked to him about his free throws. I told him quit fading away. Everyone keeps coming up to me, tell him quit fading away, Nick, on that second free throw. He's a 50% free throw shooter. Let's see if he can make these two. Yep, all right, he'll make the second one. He fade away on that one too. Yeah. Standing there strong. Huh? Standing there strong I finish, know. right? Follow through. They don't want to listen to anybody. <laughs> I mean, it's real simple stuff. It's a free throw. So, nonetheless, uh, 14 I can't say anything. I think I shot about 10% from the free throw line <laughs> in high school. See? They called me Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is able to – Nabobby's able to get the uh, second of the uh, two-shot fouls. He's got three on the night. 43-32, up 11, two minutes. You know, Nick earning his keep there by fronting Torres and keeping him out of the lane. Hennessy staying outside. Great job by the cash and defense. Drive. Nice take. Good work by Nababi. Just staying straight up on Vincent. No foul. Good no call by the baseline official. I'm biased. And there's a foul there. Vincent he got his money's worth on that one. You know, uh, 
Jonah's got a little bit of uh, CP3 in him with the with a little bit of the hey, that. and the hair and just <laughs> adds to to the drama. I love the it. The drama. Yes. That's a great word. That's a great word. <laughs> Absolutely. Jonah's game is just fantastic. Great ball handler. So with five fouls, Cashin is two away from going to the bonus. We'll see if uh, Hennessy will start to try to get that, and they will. There's foul number six. And now it's going to be a battle to see who can hang on to the ball to get yeah. to the free throw line. This is where I know you probably were like, give me the ball, I want to get to the line. No, I got it out of my hand as fast <laughs> as I could. I knew my strengths and weaknesses both. <laughs> Jenkins finding Legas, dangerous pass. He'll go baseline, curl it back out wisely to Tishner. Tishner will drive, kick it back out to Legas. Cashner will reset, up 11, minute 23. At some point, Hennessy's got to come foul. Tishner with the drive, dish, Frazier reverse. Blocked into the hands of Hennessy. And he steps out of bounds. Step out of bounds? He sure did. And right there, I mean, it was just the hustle play by uh, Austin Frazier to kind of poke that yeah. ball out and get him out of sorts and just Didn't let it that, step out of bounds. Yep. So that was Cassidy Amburn, number 10, his sister Amburn. It's the 10 as well. I got it right this time. <laughs> no. No, I apologize. That's that was I, apologize. So <laughs> I apologize. I was like, wait, that's Garrett Vinson. My apologies to the Vinson family. Garrett Vinson, freshman out there who's checked in. Find a little defense and maybe some shooting. 50 seconds, under a minute. Looks like uh, Coach Page is possibly waving the white flag. Alley oop. Rainey can't finish. Vinson quickly up. Back out to uh, Richter. Richter with the bucket. 43-34. I think this is a bunch of the guys that were in in that JV game, and they, they played well on the JV side of things. But I think you're right. I think they're kind of waving the white flag here at the end of this game. Hayden Ryle, Hayden Ryle, he's got some strong hair as well. Sophomore's checked in, almost gets the steal there. 31 seconds, cashing up 11, passing the gas, wisely kicks it back out. No reason to do anything else but to make them foul. Run this clock, get out of here, and enjoy a victory, a, a second victory of the year against number six ranked Tennessee. Cashing now with uh, wins over Hennessy, both in the top 10, wins over Dale at number one, who's still number one. Can you think of any other top 10 victories? I think they've got three. They've got a loss to Hooker. Lost Big to win Hooker. over, are you talking about uh, Cash and Wildcats? Or are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, Cash and Wildcats. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know that we talked about it before the game, the loss against Clinton, you know, it was, Clinton had some really good athletes and that get, can't, we, we just started missing a few shots. Game kind of got out of hand. It was just kind of, but I'd love to play them again. Yeah, and I wanted to see that matchup with Guthrie. <laughs> Love to see it. Well, with that, your Cash and Wildcats, a little uh, anticlimactic win, 43-34 of the sixth-ranked Hennessy Eagles. Cash and moves to 17-3 and on the season. Going to keep their probably their top five ranking for sure, top four ranking, and uh, certainly look to uh, improve as we uh, move on to Crescent Monday night uh, for our last home game. So we'll go to a quick timeout. We'll break down the game. We'll get you out of here. Appreciate you joining us here on Cash and Wildcats. Cash and Shape Up Fitness is locally owned and operated with no contracts or sign-up fees. Our rates start at only $30 per month, and we have tanning available. Everything you need to work on your health and fitness. So contact Amber Lee to sign up today, 405-538-8248. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Cash and Shape Up Fitness. Have a pest problem? Call Rural Pest Solutions today. We offer as-needed services as well as a variety of treatment schedules. We're family-owned and operated, and we specialize in treating life's smallest problems. Spiders, ants, roaches, termites, mice, and more. For both residential and commercial, we're ready to solve your pest problems today. So call Rural Pest Solutions in Cashin, 405-238-6565. Proud supporter of Wildcat Athletes. 
Chris Cochran and his whole football family are really fired up for the Cash and Wildcats tonight. Also about him joining forces with Legacy Insurance and Investments. He has taken his extensive 25 years of experience and proven customer service down to one of the historic buildings on Cashin's Main Street. Chris is an independent agent now and can shop all of your farm, personal, commercial, and life policy needs to provide you with a lot of different options. He is also licensed to assist with all of your financial planning needs like 401k rollovers, IRAs, and mutual funds. Call Chris anytime and let him go to work for you our partnership will be a win-win all right welcome back to cash in oklahoma i'm Nima bobby here on cw tv thursday night basketball as your cash and wildcats are victorious they get the w they get the w tonight at home again moving to 17 and 3 with a 43 34 victory over the sixth ranked tennessee eagles who moved to 10 and 3 cash in uh it, it it just was there just solid play on the defensive end leading to some good buckets on the offensive side it was Jonah Jenkins in the first half with his fast start. It was Vance Rainey starting off in the third quarter, and then it was all Landon Legas, who was held scoreless for the majority of the game, chipping in 12 points and, and the leading scorer of the game uh, to finish out the Hennessy Eagles again here tonight. Uh, from a standpoint of, of overall, again, uh, really uh, uh, just a solid night. We had uh, for 31 uh, years. We had two players in double figures. Uh, Austin, uh, I'm sorry, Landon Legas with 12, Vance Rainey with 11. Uh, Jonah Jenkins with nine. Uh, we had Jackson Vandruff early on who had gotten in foul trouble, who had, ni- had four nice points early on uh, for the Cash and Wildcats, three from Nick Nabavi, two from Trey Tishner, and two from Austin Frazier. Uh, again, kudos out to Legas who came in strong to kind of close out this game, uh, and it was our usual suspects, uh, Rainey and Jenkins, uh, to kind of help support. Uh, really appreciate you guys joining us. We'll check out numbers, but you guys have been following us. We, we're so grateful for you to you. Uh, catching us as well as our uh, sponsors. Big shout out to my man Chris Gibson. Uh, big shout out to Bella Shank and to uh, Kate and Taylor for coming up and hanging out with us at halftime. Uh, the girls were able to go on. They moved to 15 and five with a 61-40 victory over the Eagles as well. And want to thank my man Tommy Branson. Want to thank my man uh, uh, Braden Stimke as well as Zane Stimke on their work with us here tonight. So with that, uh, Cash and Wildcats victorious, doing it again. Uh, the girls will be playing tomorrow night at Watonga. That will be on cashandwildcats.tv, but that will be the Watonga uh, version. I got date night with my wife, so, hey, going to take take the night off, but you guys enjoy that. We wish the best to the Watonga Eagles uh, on there. Uh, uh, we wish the best to the Cash and Wildcats playing the Watonga Eagles uh, tomorrow night on the road at 7 p.m. And then we'll be back here. CW TV will be back Monday night as the Cash and Wildcats will take on their 74 highway 74 neighbors uh the uh, crescent tigers in in the basketball version of the war on 74 monday night we hope to have a game against el reno on tuesday night but if that doesn't happen uh we'll we'll uh, the crescent game will be the last game of the season last home game uh, as we head on to district so uh again for chris gibson for tommy for zane for Braden. Uh, for all of our great sponsors, our administration, I'm Nima Bobby. Thank you guys so much for joining us again tonight as your Cash and Wildcats. Both teams are victorious. Go Cats, and God bless. <laughs>